Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here coming to you with a brand new how to transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2007 Transformers live action uh, Autobot Jazz and Autobot Bumblebee. Now, as you guys can see here, Jazz's vehicle mode is, is modeled after the Pontiac Solstice and Bumblebee's vehicle mode is modeled after the Chevy Camaro. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple of details that these guys have while they're in their vehicle mode, and then we will get on to transformation, and then I will show you some of their accessories. So for right now, we're actually going to go ahead and bring, uh, move Bumblebee off to the side, and we're going to bring Jazz in for a close-up. Like I said, Jazz's vehicle mode is based off of the Pontiac Solstice. I believe this is the uh, 2008 Pontiac Solstice. Um, what I think is interesting about this is, for one... Uh, I don't think you see a lot of Pontiac Solstice cars with a big blaster hanging off the back. One thing that's nice is you can just slim, sl simply slide that off and set it off to the side. Um, we're actually going to use that later. Uh, what I like here is the amount of detail they put into this, especially like the uh, the um, ridges on the, on the radiator of the car. You have the little Pontiac emblem right there on the hood. I especially love that they even included the tread for the tires. And they even added the spoiler, and you can even see the, where the gas cap would be, which is absolutely great. I especially love the blue window to kind of give it a little more character. Like, heck, they even added the door handles for the car itself. Some Transformers toys don't actually do that. And I especially love that they added the little vents on the side and the little vent right there. Um, in my opinion, this one, in regards to detail and accuracy for the movie uh, translated to the toy... I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, Jazz is an Autobot that is uh, unfortunately killed during uh, during the events of the movie. Uh, spoiler alert for those of you who have not seen it. I do apologize. Um, what I thought was uh, really interesting about him is that he did have kind of a cocky attitude. Uh, I do know in the movie he was... Uh, he was identified as Optimus Prime's first lieutenant. I don't know if that means his second in command or just one of his higher ranked officers. Um, but I do love that he he didn't go out he didn't go down without a fight. He fought right to the end. He even got a couple of shots in on Megatron before Megatron unfortunately ripped him in half and then threw him out like trash. Um, kind of a sad death for a good character. I liked I liked the character. I especially liked uh, when. The Autobots were first introduced uh, when he introduces himself. He has a little flip down visor as he uh, right after he jumps back and uh, kind of sits in a cool pose on top of the car in the uh, alley with the rest of the Autobots. All right. So to get back on topic, we're going to go. Uh, so there's Jazz. We're going to go ahead and now bring in Bumblebee for a close up. Now, as you guys can see here, like I said, uh, Bumblebee's vehicle mode is based off of the I think this is the 2008 Chevy Camaro. See the Chevy emblem right there on the front of the car. He's even got the headlights for the details. Uh, if you look very uh, very closely, I apologize if it's blurry, but if you look right there, you can actually see where it says Camaro. Uh, and of course, he's got the little door handles. They even added the exhaust pipes on the back, including the tail lights, and even a little outline on where the license plate would be. Uh, personally, I think this is a really great design. Um, now. To be perfectly honest, I'm kind of a fan of classic cars, so I especially love that they gave him the 74 Camaro um, design when they first introduced Bumblebee. But honestly, what I thought was always funny about uh, Bumblebee himself is that when he goes to scan this vehicle mode, he does it while driving on two tires and then scans it from underneath and then comes back and picks up Sam and Michaela while they're in the Los Angeles tunnel. Uh, now, one feature that I like about this is that you can actually open and shut the door, even though typically this is uh, really just a how you get him transformed and stuff like that. Both the passenger and the driver's side door open. Um, and then, of course, just like with Jazz, he's got the uh, he's got a little bit of a tread pattern right there on his tires. Oop, there he is saying hello right there. Um, overall, I love this design. I also got to give it a 9 out of 10 for accuracy in regards to um, the movie counterpart. All right, so there's the uh, details for those guys. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and go uh, do now is I'm going to show you guys how to transform Jazz, and then we'll move on to Bumblebee. So once again, we're going to move B off to the side, and we're going to bring Jazz back in. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually take the ba whole back end of the car, 
and we're going to flip this up and we're going to disconnect it off of these two pins right here which come out of those ports we're going to flip this up all the way maybe not all the way but pretty dang close the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this whole section of him and we're going to bring it all the way down just like that because this is actually going to be the lower half of jazz and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come right here and we're going to pull that and pull that and then give this a quarter turn and give this a quarter turn and then bring it all the way down just like this and all the way down just like this. What I, uh, what I honestly think is interesting is that where Jazz actually connects to himself, uh, I think it's a little interesting that that's actually where he gets ripped in half by Megatron. Uh, I suppose if you had one, had one that was damaged, you could actually just uh, take that hinge off and then make it look like he's got wires and parts hanging down. Just kind of make him look like he did get ripped in half. Um, it'd be an interesting customization for uh, a Jazz figure. But anyway, to uh, get back on topic, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come right here where this uh, little tire, uh, sh tire shaped piece is. And we're going to go ahead and pull this down first. And then we're going to just roll that back just like that. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to flip out the heel for his foot. And there we have one of Jazz's legs all set to go. So next thing we'll do is we'll come down here, we'll flip that back and pull that down and then flip out the heel. And there we go. We got the lower half of Jazz ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Now we're not going to uh, connect. We're not going to uh, connect this onto here just yet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come back here and we're going to flip this down behind him, and we're going to pull open the hood because this is going to become Jazz's arm. So we want it like this, and then we're going to do is we're going to pull that back, and then pull that out. Here, let me show you that again. So we've got it like that. We've got that piece pulled out. There's a little double hinge right here. Go ahead and pull that out so it is straight. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fold this piece up to get it up out of the way. And we'll flip it around. And as we do, we'll take this piece, put it up over the front of the tire, and then bring that around just like that. The next thing we'll do is we'll take this little black piece and we'll flip it out because that is actually going to become Jazz's hand. And then we'll go ahead and flip this over just like this and flip that and then bring that down. And there's one of Jazz's arms all set and ready to go. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna go ahead and flip up and flip this piece out just like this. Flip this out, bring this up, flip it around, flip this up in front of the tire, flip this out straight, flip out his hand and fold in the hood of the car to form his other arm. And there we go there. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and come right here and take this little pin and connect it into that port right there. Click that in, and then we'll take this whole section right here, we'll bring it back, which will allow Jazz's head to pop out. And as you do, it will also make, hang on one second, it will also make the headlights kind of shrink into the back. I'll show you that again. So we have them up like this, and we have the headlights so right now the whole front bumper is all flush and when you push that back it will make the headlights kind of pop behind his chest, uh, the center of the grill a little bit and it will form Jazz's chest. And there we have Jazz transformed and ready to go. As you can see his attitude matches his design and he is ready, he is ready to see some action. All right. Now, uh, one additional piece, uh, which is the piece that we took off the back of him, this will actually become his blaster, or if you take, the, if you grab the barrel and you pull it out, it will actually form, I guess, a little bit of a sword. Um, I do know another version of the uh, 2007 design, they actually incorporated where he, the back of him actually comes off and becomes a shield. Um, I have never actually tried to take the back off, uh, because frankly, I don't want to risk breaking it. Um, I have been told that you can take this piece off and mount it on the uh, mount it in the wheel on his shoulder. I've just never tried to do it. But anyway, so this piece right here will actually become Jazz's blaster, and you can either have it with the barrel extended or you can have it with the barrel retracted. 
and you'll see that there's a pin right here and what this will do is you can take his arm and just go ahead and fold his arm open you will see the port right there go ahead and fold in his hand and then just go ahead and put that right into that port and there we go he has his blaster and he is ready to go uh, like I said um, personally Jazz for the movie toy line has always been one of my favorites not only because he had the uh, hey let's go attitude but the fact that he went out fighting he didn't uh, he didn't give up when Megatron grabbed him he got a couple of good shots in uh, but unfortunately that's really all he got in on Megatron so anyway there's Jazz so now we're gonna move him off to the side and we're gonna bring in Bumblebee well, like I said, Bumblebee's vehicle mode is that of a Chevy Camaro, and we're just going to go ahead and jump into transformation. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open the doors on both sides of his car, of the car. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this whole section and just go ahead and pop it down just a little bit like that. And then what we'll do is we'll come right here and we're going to pull off the side right there and pull those off to the side just like that. Go ahead and pull these all the way out and swing these out a little bit just like this and just like that. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to his legs and we're gonna go ahead and pull them apart just like this and remove his blaster. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this quarter panel for his car, we're gonna go ahead and flip it up over his hip and then this has a little bit of an automorph gimmick uh, similar to some of the Transformer Cybertron figures. When you pull on it, it will actually make some of the armor plating kind of reposition to where it needs to be. So we'll go ahead and flip that armor plating up just like that and bring that down. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring his feet out flat. Uh, now one thing you can do if you want, you can go ahead and pin his legs back together with the bumper of the car. You don't have to if you want to try and pose him. But anyway, so there are Bumblebee's legs ready to go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up here. We're gonna make sure these are out all the way. And we're gonna take the whole uh, section, the whole uh, side of the car with the door and we're gonna flip about, flip it the other way and then bring the arms out even farther. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here. We're gonna flip the, uh, pop this piece down just like this. And then we're gonna bring the whole front section of his car didn't quite get that out of the way. There we go. We're going to bring the whole front section of the car and bring it down just like this. As you do, you get it about halfway, move his arms back out of the way, and then bring it down the rest of the way. If you don't do that, you can break pieces. I actually did that on another uh, version of this Bumblebee that I used to have uh, not uh, a while back. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to come back here and we're going to take this piece right here that's on his back. We're going to flip this up and it's going to rest right behind his head and that will keep his chest from uh, going up. The next thing we'll do is we'll take this side of his front, of the front of his, uh, the grill of his car, bring that up and bring the other one up just like that. There's Bumblebee's signature chest plate. Now his head is on a little bit of a ball joint so it can come forward if you want. Uh, either that or you can keep it back into its... Uh, keep it back in its uh, set position. I personally like to bring it forward a little bit, that way he has a little bit of a neck, but that's entirely up to you. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring his, bring his shoulders back the rest of the way, and then fold out the doors. And then finally, we're gonna take what was the top portion of the car, and we're gonna flip these back to form his armor plating for his arms. All right, and there we have Bumblebee. Um, now, what I've always thought was interesting is the fact that uh, they state in the movie that Bumblebee's voice box was damaged. Um, I know that in the Bumblebee movie, they state that they show that it was actually Blitzwing who damaged his voice box. Um, however, I don't know if that movie is actually supposed to be a an exact prequel to the Bayverse movies. Um, I do know it was it was made by a different director. Um, I would like to know what you guys' opinion is, uh, because I honestly like to go by the, tran I know the Transformers Prime, um, uh, backstory for Bumblebee isn't exactly, uh, connected to the movies, but I think it sounds better when you 
when you think of like Megatron was the one who did it. Uh, but anyway, so in addition to Bumblebee, we have his blaster that we took off of him. Now this actually has two modes. Uh, one is obviously the blaster mode, just like this. And the secondary mode is actually where you open it up and a sword will actually come out of it, a little Energon blade. I think that that's pretty clever. Um, one thing I've actually done, I actually have two different repaints of this Bumblebee. Uh, one of them is a is a black Camaro with gold stripes. It's a reverse repaint of him, uh, similar to how his repaint was in Transformers Prime, and that one was known. As, that one was called Stealth Bumblebee. And then they did release a red repaint for Bumblebee that they called Cliff Jumper. Um, personally, uh, I don't like the uh, in regards to the Stealth Bumblebee one. I never liked that it was called Stealth Bumblebee, so I renamed it Sunstreaker because that honestly sounds cooler. But then, of course, what you can do here is you can actually mount Bumblebee's gun in his arm, and now he is ready for action. But anyway, guys, so there is the uh, 2007 Bumblebee and Jazz from the first live-action Transformers movie. If you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below. Even hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and I will do what I can to help you out as we go. Until then, bye.